What up guys, Miguel here from Yu-Gi-Oh Tech and a lot of us, including myself, still use an older phone. Because, well, we're just not wasteful. But sometimes it can get laggy, it can freeze, and you know, because there's new phones that roll out every year, it can feel a little outdated. And because of this, we tend to consider wanting to buy a new phone. And there's totally nothing wrong with that, but we both know that the most cost-effective thing to do is to make your older phone last as long as it can. So for those of you who want to do the same, we'll be sharing with you some tips to make your old slow phone faster. Let's get started! The first and most simplest thing you can do is uninstall your old unused apps. Apps that you don't usually use. You know what I'm talking about. Go ahead and delete all your non-essential apps. You know, the ones that you only open maybe once every few weeks. Only keep the important apps that you cannot live without. Getting rid of such apps is a wise move, as the more free space you have in your phone's internal memory, the more it helps to speed up your phone. If you want to see how much free space you have left on your phone, go to your settings menu and look for that storage option. You can also see which apps are taking up the most space by going to settings, then applications, then manage applications. But wait, even though you've narrowed it down to the most essential apps, what you can do or consider doing is maybe look for the lighter versions of those apps. Like Messenger Lite, Facebook Lite, Instagram Lite, TikTok Lite, Camera 360 Lite, Spotify Lite, that's new, Firefox Lite, Twitter Lite, Skype Lite, Line Lite, and even mobile games that offer more basic minimal versions. But hold on boy, we're not done yet, why don't you clean up that app cache? There are some apps that you don't need to open regularly, but they are important enough that they need to be in your phone. Some examples would be apps you use to book flights and order food. Removing the cache data for such apps in the settings menu is a great way to save some space, especially when they're not in use. Clearing up the cache can help the app perform smoother as it removes old data which might make it lag and lead to freezes and crashes. When the data gets deleted, the app can keep newer versions of the same things. This method is especially helpful when it comes to those big apps like Facebook and Instagram that keep a lot of images and a lot of other crap stored in your device. Next, close apps running in the background and free up your RAM! I know, I know. Multitasking with several apps just with one swipe, one gesture, one press of a button is really convenient. But those apps running in the background can really impact your phone's performance, especially the RAM. If I were you, I'd just close down all those apps with a swipe or with a tap to clear them all in the app switcher. And if you have developer options enabled, you can also kill apps or services running in the background. Just make sure you don't close the most important ones. Also, you want to make sure your phone is up to date. If not, don't hesitate to update your phone. To see if an update is available for your phone, head into the settings menu, then about phone, then system update to check. If there is an update waiting, make sure you download and install that thing right away so that your phone is in its most optimized state. Next tip, clean up your home screen. Don't put too much on it. Keep it as minimal as possible. Avoid using a live wallpaper since it can strain not just performance but also your battery. You can also try a new launcher. Launchers can freshen things up with no real downsides involved and will give you loads of interesting new tools that'll make your phone feel new. Another thing you can do is reduce animations or scale down your phone's system animations. It doesn't actually speed up your phone per se, but opening and closing apps and stuff like that will feel a lot snappier. To do this, you'll need to enable developer options. Go to settings and about phone and scroll down to the system section to look for build number. Tap on build number 7 times and you should see a message about being a developer. Ta-da! You are now a developer! Sort of. You can now go back to the previous menu and under system you should see developer options. Or for other phones, it might be under additional settings. Head there and scroll down to find window animation scale 
transition animation scale and animator duration scale. Tap on each of the settings and set them to the 0.5x option, or even zero if you don't want any animations at all. Now lastly, and probably the most important thing, clean up your storage. Keep in mind that internal storage plays an important role in the performance of your Android phone. So now you've gotten back some storage from uninstalling unused apps, maybe switching to light versions of the apps, and cleaning out your cache. But what about your old photos and videos? Remember, back them up on your computer. Or you can take advantage of cloud services like Google Photos, Google Drive, Dropbox, iCloud, Flickr, and just, there's just so many more to choose from. This way, you got a copy of your old important files, but not locally on your phone. And if all else fails, and after doing all these steps, your phone is still laggy and it freezes, and just basically nothing happened, there is but one thing you can do. Wipe it clean and start over from scratch. I know this is very tedious, but a factory reset clears out all your data. And for sure, this makes your phone feel faster again, at least for a while. But just like the previous step, make sure that everything is backed up before you do this. So, what did you guys think? Do you guys have any more tips? Let us know in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to smack that like button. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that bell icon so you get notified of our future uploads. Be sure to visit yougatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. Again, this has been Miguel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye Bye-bye!